Urban Promise is a ministry that's located in North Little Rock. We're in the Bering Cross neighborhood and we hire high school students from the neighborhood and train them up as camp counselors. They serve in our programs for first through fifth graders or sixth through eighth graders. By teaching them proper leadership skills and academic skills and also encouraging them in their faith. So during our summer camp we have four classes and one of those is an educational component called Zany Brainy. Zany Brainy is a class for the kids. We teach all of the core subjects like math, science, reading, and writing. Uh, I'm really passionate about gardening. I grew up on a farm and so I decided to incorporate gardening as a part of our science and math. So in science so far I've taught the parts of the plant in photosynthesis I plan on also teaching the parts of the flower um, and how plants get pollinated by bees. Each plant we have these flowers and they're called a companion plant that we plant with them and they attract uh, different bugs that will help pollinate it. And so the flowers are what turn into the fruit because they get pollinated by bees. Because of volunteers, because of people like Mary Beth and her family, we're able to give these kids a high quality education this summer. They probably have never heard of the process of pickling or learning that dill and garlic go inside a jar to make pickles. We're going to teach you guys how to make kosher dill pickles. So do you guys want to try one first? Yeah. Yeah? Alright, so everyone can get a pickle. So we gave each kid their own jar and we gave them a cute little label that said Pickle League 2018 and we let the kids glue that on the jar and we gave them all of the components of kosher dill pickles so they put dill in the jar, garlic, black peppercorns, and then we had them put, they could either do sliced or speared pickles. So it's just a good thing uh, because processed foods are so bad for you these days, and so knowing how to make pickles at home is a quick 30 minute process and the kids can take that home. I'm decided to take home pickles because like, we can probably make a sandwich and and eat it and also like almost everybody in my house likes pickles. So street leaders are high schoolers that we hire that live in the community um, so that they can be a leader here as well as on the street. Um, they really love the garden. A couple of the guys have really intently got, watered them. Uh, there was one day we hadn't watered them uh, in a few days and some of the cucumber plants were wilted over and he said these plants are dying, they're dehydrating, they're burning up. And so he took it upon himself to water them. I just had a little gallon pitcher that I was going and watering them with. And I gave it to him. And the next thing you know, he comes out with a five gallon jug of water. Um, and then the next day, another one of them found a hose in the closet. So they pulled it out and they had to have pliers to turn on the spigot. And so they brought out pliers and everything and they've been watering them since. I think it just surprised me because the kids remember so much information that I tell them. They'll look zoned out. But then taking them out to the garden today, they could tell me exactly where the stem was, where the leaves were, where the fruit was, and where the flowers were. Um, and they just are so excited. The first day when I ta taught them about uh, growing things and what the garden meant, they all were quiet and they all were listening, they all were focused. And they're so excited to see something grow up uh, and just be able to be a part of something bigger than themselves. 